finally, after so long, I'm willing to get back on the hit game, Doki Doki Literature Club Plus, and continue the story. Hey, what's up, guys? Skull123 here. Welcome back. I keep forgetting that my charger's plugged in. <clears throat> Welcome back to Doki Doki Plus. Last time, we finished the two... Well, technically, we finished the, I think, understanding side story. <clears throat> Now, I think there's one more, but I can't do it because I don't have it. And I assume it's with Natsuki. So we are going to continue. Um, I think it's the weekend right now. <clears throat> yeah, it's Sunday. And last thing I was going to do was Natsuki's coming to my place. That's what it is. So we're going to just <clears throat> continue from there and just la laugh a bunch. Have a great day. My my first class got canceled, so, so I'm recording a video that I've... Yeah, I was going to plan to do this anyway, or <clears throat> later, so, yeah. It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Natsuki's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help that much. I don't know if she'll act any different when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. <clears throat> Uh, we sent each other, uh, we sent each other one, that, what? We sent each other one after, we sent, we sent each other, we, we sent each other one after exchanging numbers to double check, but it turned into a conversation. What, we sent, I think they mean like, I, I think, do they mean messages? Yeah, texting me a lot, we sent each other, so sending each other a text. She's almost a different per she's almost a different personality on the phone using a ton of emojis and cute language. <laughs> she also really likes complaining about things, but I kind of saw that one coming. But putting Natsuki aside, I haven't heard anything from Sayori since she left the club earlier the other early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything. But I've been worried about her from the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said. Is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? <clears throat> I decide to visit Sayori before Natsuki comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's homes like we're family. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to the bathroom. Oh, I head up to her bedroom where I can where I can finally find her. Sayori. Hi, hi Skull. Ah, uh, yeah, look at her. She looks casual. Nice casual wear. Casual fit. Little jeans, I guess. I, I wear sweatpants most often, so that's just me. Hi, Skull. <clears throat> I sit down in her room. Wow, you know, uh, I, I know you all are close, but like me breaking in and then sitting in someone's, that's like, that's like pushing authority. I don't like that. So I force her to smile, but it's easy to tell she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? <laughs> I guess you're right. It's been a long, it has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is as messy as it always been. I also recognize the stuffed animals and wall dark she's had for years now. <laughs> if you came over, if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. Cause I'm the one cleaning your room. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Are you supposed to see Natsuki today? How do you know of that? You wasn't around. <laughs> yeah, but wait, how did you know that exactly? I assume Monica told her. Monica told me. Got it. I'm, I'm really curious. I've actually, I don't know how often Monica has been a route to like, hey, go visit Monica or go do the event with Monica. I've never seen that. I, I'm actually willing to replay the game a bit to just see that segment, like see what it's like if we hang out with Monica instead. Uh, it's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival's preparations, right? Uh, that's true. What about you? Aren't you going to help Monica today? Or aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan a meetup or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Natsuki then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Give her a hug or something, I don't know. 
Sayori stares, that Sayori stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you was doing. After you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Sayori smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Skull. Eh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. What? If I didn't go so weak and accidentally express my feelings, get so weak, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have to have worried about me at all. You shouldn't have come here. Oh, you wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been thinking about me right now, but we're friends. I always think about my friends. But it's... This is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> that's not something that you just laugh at after. Sayori. I grab Sayori by the shoulders. <clears throat> what on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something's happened to you. There's no other explanation for, for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know I won't be... <clears throat> Excuse me. Fucking had to clear my throat. Until I know I won't be able to stop thinking about this. Ah. <laughs> Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Skull. I'm in a trap. Don't say it. <laughs> but you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> You're really gonna just make me say it, aren't you, Skull? Guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything if I fully know how worthless I am? Oh, that's mean. Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put energy and caring to and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy without anyone worrying about me. That's very sad. I'm in shock. Can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible for that Sayori kept this from me the entire time I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayori? Huh? <clears throat> Why is it that you never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your closest friend, and as your close friend. Because if I knew, I wouldn't have. I would have done everything I could to support you, even if there's so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little bit better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do is tell me. You don't understand at all, Skull. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have wasted your effort caring about me instead of doing the important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but also feels like a bat sw Damn! It feels like a bat swung against my head. <laughs> you can't laugh at that. That's why, I wanted, that's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone help be happy together is the best thing for me. But technically, before this, I wouldn't be in a club. I don't think my character had many friends. Seeing how he doesn't talk about anyone else. Except Sayori, like, like, bro. The dark brooding type in the corner, and Sayori's a ray of sunshine that, like, pulled me out or something. But then I discovered something else, too. Seeing you make friends again closer with everyone else in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why... That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. I don't know what the logic of me making friends makes you mad or makes you hurt. I mean, like, I think if someone makes friends and you wanted that, that's good. So you shouldn't feel bad about it. <laughs> You're the reason friends appear in the first place. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right, that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Skull. There's nothing. 
Nothing at all. The only thing I could have, the only thing that could have helped me is if everything could be like the way it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked on Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was, pun and I was punished by my heart hurting in a way I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. That's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time I pull her into a tight embrace. Please give me a cinematic or something. Ah, skull. Sayori. Sayori-chan. Sayori-chan. I don't care if you feel selfish. Say I'm not going to be saying that. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I made friends with everyone else, that's just a bonus. Yo, I hate the feeling on my foot when there's like something there, even though there's not. It just feels like my leg is like pulsing. Or like my foot is pulsing. But please never uh, under underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Skull. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori remains at her side. She starts sobbing in next to my ear. No. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this, Skull. I... Sorry, Billy just manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want is for her to know I care. If you have uh, if you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori, you put your arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't know anything. And I don't know any of my feelings, Skull. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary. What? That's really scary, too. Sayori lets me go. As she does hardly go with her as well. The festival the festival's tomorrow. Yeah. It's gonna be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like to spend how would you that how would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um ah uh, It's what I want. I promise. I I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sorry, wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day with her here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really won't forgive you. But it's almost time for Natsuki to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. No, she's doing Monica stuff technically, right? To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if I would be very good for me today. <sighs> you understand, right? Ah, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry about it too much. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On, on the way home, I find myself seem feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Natsuki's coming over too. Freaking <laughs> feeling all warm and giddy inside, huh? I think Sayori is right. Shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. I spent only a few minutes back at home, anxiously waiting for Natsuki's arrival. Before I knew it, she texted me to let me know she's outside the front door. Without delay, I open the, letter, open the front door to let her in. It's a pretty nice fit. Pretty, pretty nice outfit. <laughs> I don't know. Just <laughs> that's <laughs> Natsuki saying stuff. Gotta be one of the funniest. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Why is that so funny? Hey, dot dot dot. Sad. Hey. I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing Natsuki in something other than her school uniform totally threw me off. Seeing her in such cute clothing makes the uniform seem totally unfitting in comparison. It's just a skirt and a t and a tank t-shirt. I didn't expect her to wear skirts, I guess. I don't know. Jeez, don't make me feel awkward already. It's not gonna be a long after it's not Oh. It's gonna be a long afternoon, so don't so don't be weird just because you because you're not used to seeing me in the outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming in. I just wish you'd like shove me out the way. I let it happen. I see you brought a lot of stuff. Man, look at this kitchen. Decked out, fine ass kitchen. I wonder if college kitchens are like this. My, my college kitchen isn't, mostly because we don't really have one. I just have a sink. And a sink, a stove oven. But like, you know, I have a microwave and mini fridge in my room, so like I'm cooling all the time. Natsuki's carrying a large bag that's probably full of baking supplies. Well, I didn't want to come all this way to find out your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. You brought every you bought everything I asked too, right? You could have also asked if I had this stuff and do would have saved you the effort, but <sighs> Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Yesterday Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients and if I didn't already have them at home. Good. Glad I could count on you to do your part. Well, of course. Surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly say that, rather than something snarky like she usually does. Could it be that she's a little different outside of school after all? Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. Are we not here? What, you're not even gonna... <laughs> what, you're not even gonna offer to take this heavy bag from me? Where's your hospitality, Skull? Yeah, not me for real. Me personally, I'd immediately be like, hey, you need help? I'm a charmer. I don't look good, but I'm a charmer. That's for damn sure. Come on. Since when did I, since when did I need to be a gentleman? I grab the bag Natsuki holds out to me. <laughs> this is ridiculously heavy. God, she must be strong then. <laughs> I carry that all the way here. Are you impressed? Absolutely. I guess if my weak ass character can't lift up a fucking bag. I see now. Yeah, I'm impressed, Natsuki. Seems like I always underestimate you. <laughs> it's because I'm so small, isn't it? You're 4'11. Natsuki's cannon height is 4'11. You're a fucking midget. And I don't mean that in a real way. You're cute. I love you. <laughs> but, like, I, I recently figured out her cannon. Like, Yuri is the tallest girl in the club. There's no doubt about that. Her cannon height or concept height is 5'5. Five five. I always thought Yuri was like 5'9 five, five or something. I always thought Yuri was really tall. But recently learning on the wiki, no, Yuri's like 5'9. Oh, Yuri's 5'5. Five, five. I thought she was 5'9. I thought Monica would be 5'7. Monica's 5'3. Sayori's like 5'2, five, 5'1. Five, and Natsuki is 4'11. I have a friend who is that height. That is, that is majorly tiny. Like if this was accurate size me, She'd be around my stomach. Like, like, upper stomach, I'd guess. Honestly. Honest to God. It's because I'm so small, isn't it? <laughs> you jerk. Natsuki hits me, hits a fist into my chest. Hey, hey. Your size has nothing to do with it. Yes, it does. <laughs> do you really hate being small that much? I find it cute. Eh? Um, it's not like I hate it. I mean, sometimes I like proving people wrong uh, when they think I'm only worth my size. Nah, bro, being, imagine going to the, like, Natsuki going to the gym. That'd be, like, really funny. Actually, isn't there a joke about Buff Natsuki? Like, in the community, like, Buff Natsuki or was, like, Buff Monica? It was, like, some character that they just, like, made extremely jacked. Which also, like, upped their size by, like, a shit ton, I'm not gonna lie. But, like, it was, like, really, really freaking buff. <laughs> It's fun when I get when I get to be small and also better than other people. Like a small and strong girl, that's that's that is a wild combo. Imagine me like like tiny, but bulky. Like not like big bulky, but like have like muscle. Kind of like um the the girl from Demon Slayer. I forgot her name is the Love Hashira. Like it's not it's not Minari. I don't know. 
I, I always forget her name, but like she she could never grow muscle. That's was like that was her thing. Like she was very had a big appetite and very strong, but she could never grow muscle mass. So she's just very powerful and just doesn't look it like that. That's pretty funny, and which is why I think that'd be pretty cool. But geez, never mind. What are you making me say? Don't think you can. <laughs> I don't think you can make me talk about weird things just because we're not at school. Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. <laughs> what? That's that's a little bit more like you. You're more fun when you speak your mind like that. Hey! Now are you treating me like a kid? I'm trying to be nicer to you, you know? And just because I don't have some and just because I don't have a mature s what? And just because I don't have a mature, sexy... Bro, I, I... And just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like Yuri doesn't mean you should treat me like... Uh, uh. Girl! Natsuki catches her words and, force, and her face turns red. Natsuki... Forget it! I didn't say anything! You should have... Yeah. Oh, I, th I thought she said you should apologize. I should apologize. Eh? I appreciate that you were trying to be nicer. Uh, it should have been a little more considerate, too. But also, if that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are tons of guys who are into body types like yours. Uh, how would you know that anyway? Just trust me on this one. Why? Because I'm one of them! <laughs> hey, yo! Short girls are cute. Gross. <laughs> hey! <laughs> what was that to me? Who else? Man, let's just get started already. <laughs> you, know, you get all sour when girls call you gross. They finally find your weakness, Skull. Is that what you've been waiting for? Natsuki smiles deviously. Look at that devious ass fang. Now I'm thinking, should I draw somebody with a fang tooth? It's an idea. Please spare me. Well, if Natsuki decides. Mm, well, if Natsuki decides to dish out more insults like that, then there's no, then there's no way I'm fighting back. But she's satisfied enough for now, so uh, finally starting to pull things out of her bag and so we can get started. I feel like my nose is like a little stuffed. Not even stuffed, it's just like there's like in the way. Before long, the whole the whole kitchen is a mess. Spoons, dirty bowls, flowers, spilled fluid, and plastic bags are strewn about every countertop. The mixer isn't big enough to make all the batter at once, so we've had to do it in several. We had to do it several times. Meanwhile, that Suki's babysitting all my movements to make sure I don't mess up her precious baking. Skull, where'd you put the food coloring? And the batter is going going into the oven soon, so I need to fill the trays. I think it's in the bag next to the table. What are you using it for? To color the batter, of course. I'm making each tray a different color. Are we making what cupcakes? I think. That, that way, even if the flavors aren't, aren't different, everyone can still pick their favorite. Ah, oh, that's a cute idea. Are we doing anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? Ah, uh, you're asking me. I don't really have a preference, so... Come on! You're not putting any heart into this at all! I love being creative, so honestly, I could, I could see myself doing something like this. Can you at least try to have fun? I'm, I'm having fun. I'm not really sure what Natsuki's trying to get out of me. Meanwhile, I see her separating the batter into smaller bowls, putting a few drops of food coloring into each. Oh, that does look pretty cool. See? It's not like baking is just about following instructions. Yo, can you drink food coloring? Honest to God, I'm curious. Can you just like, just like chug it? The presentation is, is, is where you get to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million times more worth it in the end, uh, if, uh, it's more if, if just looking at everyone makes you it, look at everyone's makes I it's a million times more worth it in the end if not if if just looking at it makes everyone's eyes lighten up god damn like the ones you made on the on my first day huh I recall Suki proudly presenting uh, uh yeah presenting the her cat shaped uh cupcakes in Sayori and Monica delights expression I wonder if Natsuki can make if I, I wonder if I can make Natsuki proud like that too yeah. Maybe I'll use the food coloring, man. It sounds like you're starting to understand. Make sure you, uh, you completely finish 
ma mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, I'm getting there. Let me just adjust my seat. Uh, we were using electric mixer for the batter, so uh, I got stuck with the whisking and the huge. I got stuck with the whisking and the huge bowl for the icing. Huh? The icing's still all lumpy. Are you even trying? Well, yeah. It just takes a little longer. Jeez, we'll be here. I'll be here all night if you do if you do it like that. Here, look. And so he grabs the whisk from me and uses her other hand to tilt the bowl back. <laughs> you really need to beat the crap out of it. After a few seconds of consistency, the icing's already improved. See? As if to empathize, Natsuki sticks the finger in the bowl and pops it into her mouth. I reluctantly start to do the same. Hey! Natsuki suddenly grabs my wrist. Whoa! I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. Your icing, eh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? I start to fight back, trying to inch my finger towards the bowl. <laughs> you have two hands! Well, actually, yeah, because then you might make her drop it. You can't do that. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next! I'd like to see you try. You see, that's that's that, that's that funny banter that I like to do. Ugh. I push harder just enough to <laughs> reach the icing. I triumphantly scoop some with my finger and Natsuki tugs with all her... <laughs> she does not want me to have any fun! Ah. Uh, the force of Natsuki pulling me causes the stumble, making her stumble in turn. Gross! You got it on my face! Whose fault is that? There's a big glob of icing on Natsuki's cheek. Mm. She tries to reach it with her tongue with his <laughs> Jeez! You know what? Take this! Natsuki instead whips it off her face, or off her finger, before shoving the finger towards my own face. You wish? I'm faster. That's just, I'm faster. I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Natsuki tries the other hand to, but I grab that one as well. That's funny. Ew, I'm a white guy. I'm kidding, I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> Stop. Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine. I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know I didn't mean it. Just fun seeing you react to it. You do that to me all the time, you know. Saying dumb things to get a reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. Uh, too bad, I do it all the time and I love it. It's very fun. I do it myself. I do it to everyone, not just not just women. <laughs> Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. Yo, you, you, you freak! You freak! You freak! I take Natsuki's finger and put it in my mouth, licking the icing off. Oh, yeah, freak out! Yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice. There's um. A cat on her shirt, that's cute. What? Did you just- did you seriously just- uh -huh. <laughs> Natsuki's so surprised she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. These are all thumbnail shots, I'm not gonna be using these for later, these are just thumbnail shots, that's all. Skull. You really- You really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls unless you really like them. You know that. Right? What kind of question is she just... What kind of question is she asking me just like that? How did the mood turn to this so quickly? I... That's like he gazes at me in silence. I notice her shallow breath. Bro, she's... Yo. Kiss her, kiss her, bro, kiss her. Kiss her, bro, kiss her right now. I'm not starting to feel dizzy. She laced the icing. Eh? I don't know where the fire the fire alarm starts going off. Natsuki rushes over. Oh no! Shit! Is something burning? Thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. <laughs> no wonder you left a dirty tray in here, dummy. How could you make a mistake like that? You should have checked before turning the oven on. Don't blame me for your mistakes. Jeez! Natsuki uses an oven mitt to grab the blackened tray out of the oven. She says on top of the stove. How about you put it in the sink? In another moment, the f in another moment, the fire alarm stops. Anyway, anyways, 
I'm putting him in the oven now. Yeah. The tension from the moment still lingers over our heads. But the moment's already been lost. I watch... Watching Natsuki slides the cupcake tray into the oven. Then I reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue the icing like nothing ever happened. Ah, oh, that smells so good! The cupcakes are already pulled out of the oven. How do you put cupcakes in the wrapper? Or is she just not gonna... Because, like, there's the... Like, the thing, you know, the wrappers that everyone has cupcakes in that you hold them. Like, not like muffins and all that, but, like... When you bake cupcakes, how do you put them in that wrapper? I'm curious, because I don't know. As soon as Natsuki opened the oven door, a blast of sweet-smelling uh, warm air fills the room. Look how cute they all look! There's also, there's also this one slight thing that bothers me. I think girls use the word cute a little too often. Like, I don't mean that in a rude way, but like, the word cute... I feel like it's used a bit often. Like, oh, this, oh, cute this, cute that. Like, 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 I remember I wore an outfit one time and my cousin called it cute. It was literally just like me wearing like a t-shirt, like a, it's like with like a character on it. And like just wearing like a normal fit, like, like a, a pretty standard outfit. It's like, oh, it's cute. It's like, bro, it's not cute. Not everything is cute. Like, I think it's like how guys will say everything is cool or awesome. Girls use cute that oft like that often in that type of regard. So my thought at least. Mmm, that's just that's just that's just my thought of that. Look at how cute they all look. Bro, this is like a lot of me ranting this episode. That's kinda what is gonna happen in the series. Look at how cute they all look at how cute they all look. She probably shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. They look even better than the ones than they they'll look even better once we add the icing. <laughs> Not like you, not like you need to tell me that. I bought the decorative stuff, so I hope you, so let, I hope you can get creative. Ooh, like sprinkles. Here, scoop the here, scoop the icing into these bags. And Natsuki hands me a plastic bag, some plastic bags. I had the nozzles. Uh, I had these no, I had these nozzles, so we'll make uh, them f nice and fluffy. This one can even make them into flowers. Probably won't be. We probably won't be using uh, using it this time though. Aww. What's this one for? Pick up one of the nozzles, much thinner than the others. That one's really thin, so you can use it to make stripes or uh, other patterns. But uh, you can also use them to write stuff on a cupcake. Oh, write stuff on a cake. Like, happy birthday or whatever. Uh-huh, I see. Gives me an idea, actually. Eh? Well, eh, this is a literature event, right? We could make it a literature theme by writing different words on each of the cupcakes. It'd be fun to see people choose their cupcake based on a word they like. Uh. Hmm? I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid. But that's actually really cute ideas. So you see, that's what I mean! So... <laughs> maybe I'm getting it from you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. You're very... Come on. We're not at school. Nobody's judging. You can't dress... You can't dress and act like this and not expect me to think you're cute. Well... Atsuki's voice trails off. Same with you. Huh? Did you say something? N no, nothing. She thinks I'm cute? Yo, bro! Let's just do the icing. Natsuki picks up pace and fastens the, and fastens the nozzle into each of the bags. <sighs> hmm. There's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Without giving me a chance before, so he quickly, quickly moves on. She's showing me how to apply icing, and uh, from then we get to work. We finally finished. Uh, Natsuki puts them all uh, side by side to admire our work. Look how pretty they are together. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Uh, I wish I could have one now. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but. My dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. If you have one cupcake, that will not shatter your meal preferences. <laughs> so I always did exactly the opposite in that regard. If she were here right now, she'd probably down 10 cupcakes already. <laughs> and she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. Why? 
Well, any, hold on, wait, that's, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. Hmm, well, anyway, well, can she not cook? I mean, she can bake, but, like, baking and cooking are two different things, so, like, can she not cook? Hmm. I was hoping we'd have time for some for manga, but I need to be home for dinner. Oh, already? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. You should have thought about that. It's not like you'll be. It's not like. It's not like you'll be. Uh, you'll always have this chance. Man, as usual, not Natsuki puts the blame on me. You can You can bring cupcake. You can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? Uh, if you and Sayori carry some, you'll probably do it in one trip. Uh, bro, walking back home from school like that is to me that'd be a, like that's that's a walk. Yeah, I can do that. Don't worry, I won't let her eat any. Excuse me. <laughs> I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. Ah, uh, yeah. I think back to the conversation I had with Sayori earlier today. I felt so helpless. Sayori always does listen to me, but at a point it feels like she, but at uh, at that point, I feel like she couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. You too. I'll walk you out, I, I guess. It's like that, Natsuki's already about to leave. It uh, feels the afternoon went by in a flash. More than that. Did I even take the opportunity to get closer to her like I wanted? Yeah, I feel like we did. You put icing on her face and then lick- Oh, no. Yeah, no, put icing on her face and then licked her finger. And she called me cute, so I'm like, you know what? You called her cute, too. She's like, come on, come on, we did, we did something. Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. Eh? You said before about not always having this chance. It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You showed me uh, how fun baking can be, like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over anytime, okay? I think that if possible, I'd like to spend more time with you like this. Uh, if you want to read manga or go out somewhere. Um, do you really mean that? Natsuki looks at me tens ten tensely. She looks like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah. I want to spend more time with you. Skull. I thought you only cared about getting this done. I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. I really don't- I really didn't want to. I mean, how far do you live? Because, like, if the, if it's only the afternoon, making dinner should be, like, around 5 o'clock. I'm just saying. I would really want... I, I almost read that wrong. I, I thought I said I really want to stay at your house, bro. I was about to, was about to fucking trip out. I would, really, I would really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you, so... Ha! Ah! That scared me. Natsuki suddenly gets closer to me. Ma'am... Wait, Natsuki. Standing inches from not standing inches from me, Natsuki looks up at me. I feel her fingers gently clutch the sides of my shirt as if holding on to me. Her her rose her rose colored cheeks uh, and matching eyes fill my vision along with her slightly parted lips. What is happening? My head starts going dizzy as I feel her soft breath against me. I felt it for a while now. Atsugi suddenly jumps back. S Sayori! Ah! Uh, oh. Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> Hi, Skull. S Sayori. No, just now, we weren't. <laughs> it's okay, Skull. I just stopped by to say hi. Ah. Uh, well. You should have come a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so... Oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well... I'll still see you at the festival tomorrow, so that's fine. Just don't eat any of my cupcakes before then. Anyway, later. He clearly flusters. Natsuki hurries off and Sayori waves goodbye. Sayori. You just fucked up my chance of getting put. <laughs> I'm not gonna say this. Sayori, I could have gotten to second base. Now that you didn't want to come over today. <laughs> well, I, I couldn't let that sissy have you. <laughs> I'm not gonna make these jokes. That's that's very mean. 
I tried staying in my room, but my imagination uh, was being really mean to me. So I had to come over and see for myself. What? See if I was getting it, getting like getting along with Natsuki, getting it on with Natsuki, like getting just re getting somewhere. See what? What are you talking about? You know how much fun you were having with Natsuki, and how close you got to her, bro. You, oh, I almost could have kissed her. I think. You fucked up. You fucked it up. I'm not gonna lie. It makes me really happy. She looks like she's crying. Yeah, she is crying. Her sprite. Or, yeah, sprite. Ah, that you made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. She was so, bro, why? That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Skull? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sorry, we don't say that. It's true, Skull. If it were, any, if I weren't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just, huh? Monica. Monica was right about what? Sayori. What I said before is true. I'm not gonna let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't a burden on on your mind is as is making out to be. It's something that makes me happy. Something I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm gonna be by your side until you don't feel this pain anymore. But Sayori looks away. Put my hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Skull. I'm really scared. No, what what the fuck was my hold on? Monica was right. I should just, bro. Mon Monica is Monica being a devious dog. Is she? Is she? Is she? Is she becoming low tier Monica? I'm really scared. Are you scared of Sayori? I'm scared that that I might like you more than you like me. You know, that's pretty normal, I'm not gonna lie. Like, now there's more than one way of saying that. There's like, you know, not I'm not saying one-sided friendship, but like one person can feel a deeper connection than the other person. And then there's also like the person of like loving. I, I'm kinda in a situation like that myself, personally. I like one of my friends a lot, and I would like to ask her out sometime. One of my many, my many, many friends. Because I have a lot of those. I'm a very popular guy in college. Mm, that, that I might like you more than you like me. Sayori. It's true, isn't it? I was so weak. I was weak and started to like you so too much. I did this to myself. Skull. I like you so much that I want to die. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense at all. That's how I feel. You like me so much you want to die to us? That's not logical. And, and... That's enough, Sayori. I don't want to hurt you anymore. I let my hand slide on Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I always how I how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? We'll see. Sayori nods. Even if you don't under understand all your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. This pound, <laughs> and that's what I'm going to. What? This is what I'm gonna give you. Give to you. Sayori. Oh my f um I'ma be honest. Natsuki first. Natsuki first. Uh you'll always be my dearest friend. I should have saved! No! Hold on. Uh we can we can fix this. Skipping. We'll just, we'll just skip through the enti entire thing. Literally, we can just skip through the entire thing and get right back to that segment. There's a lot more dialogue than I actually thought. Holy crap. Yeah, there's a lot more dialogue. I read, I read through all this. Jeez. All right, we should get right back to the choice. Save here. Uh, this one, I guess. 
I don't need to keep making new save files every time. Uh, you'll always be my dearest friend. I can't say I love you because I love Natsuki. Personally. And... She's my close friend. You'll always be my dearest friend. What you need most is for... <sighs> what you need most is for things to be like they always have been. They've always been. Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you'd seem after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now, but please trust me that I know what's best and and what will make you happy in, this, in the end. I don't want to say that because that's like, hey, put all your faith into me and then it's like controlling kind of. I promise that I'll get uh, I'll get things back in the way they were and back to the way they were. I I see. Sayori forces a smile, though an incredibly painful, pained expression. <laughs> Is this what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest? I should write a poem about this. Sayori. It's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? Should I tell her I love her then? For me being so selfish, so please, please don't worry about my stupid feelings. I know you're right. I know this whole time there's no happiness down this path, down that path. That's why I came here. So I could, wow, get the answer that I needed to hear. And the other thing, you're also right. I just want things to go back to the way it was. I realize that now. You, re you really do know me better than anyone, Skull. I trust you with anything. Anything at all. So, so, so I always smile, finally breaks. All of a sudden, her, she turns around and drops her knees. Ah! <laughs> Clutching her head with both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. Sai so looks over the shoulder and flashes me one week's mouth before turning off and running around. I'm running around and turning, running away, turning around and running away. Sayori! I'm left helplessly standing in front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? There's nothing more I could have done. The most I can do is supporting Sayori's feelings on the path that, right. Uh, but I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will come to plague me until things are back to the way they were. I'm going to give it everything I've got. Sayori will always be my dearest friend, and I'll do whatever uh, it takes to put a smile on her face every day. Dude, I think you should follow her. It's the day of the festival. Hold on. That didn't... That was... That, I think she like let out a really harsh emotion there. I don't think that was good. Uh... I'm gonna reload that file and well actually I don't need to like skip anything. I can just load right there. What if I say I love you? I love you. Well, what if I do? I love you. Huh? Those are my true feelings. No the fuck it's not, I'm sorry to say. I'm just redoing this with a save file. So there's so there's no way that you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. Spending time with everyone at the club. No, you can't be like, oh, I have these three poems for Natsuki and then suddenly I like you. That's like such a lie. I don't mean that in a rude way, but it's like such a lie. Making new friends and having fun with you every day. It helped me realize that you truly are the most important person to me. And that's why I ex I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day. With you by my side. Then I know we'll both be happy. Skull. Wow. And I have brown hair? This isn't even accurate to me at all. Only thing accurate is that we're both males. I don't even wear long sleeves. Suddenly, Sayori wraps her arms around, tight, around tightly around me. Yeah, that... That was real. That, 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 this feels really weird. Damn. So you're saying I, I missed out on this entire shot. And it seemed more like Sayori just had a breakdown. Skull. Is it... Is this really okay? Yeah. I held Sayori in my arms and pulled her closer. You'll never have to let go of me again. 
I love you, Skull. Bro, I... <laughs> Why can't I get these words? What if... What if... What if I changed my, the main character's name to my real name and... Nah, that would just make me cry. <laughs> I'll get it eventually. I want to be with you forever. Me too. I feel Cyrus grip around me, weaken a little bit. What is it? Wait. What is this? Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now, why won't the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all, Skull. It's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters now. Okay. I trust you. Sayori and I slowly release each other. So, so, I guess that makes the festival our first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as they've always been. Even if we, even if we really are a, a couple. I don't know if I could handle anything more than, or anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. Uh, we'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, Skull. Sorry, gazed at me once more, smiling sadly. Even if I really get, if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Mm -hmm. I don't really understand what Sayori means by that. Are you saying that I'm, it, this is making you feel sad, Sayori? I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. Felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you love me. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah. I do. This doesn't seem like good dialogue. <sighs> that's my promise. Mm, uh, I say that, but in reality, I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her, and she loves me, but I'm having uh, as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I feel, com I, feel I can comfort her, I wonder if uh, I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until we, uh, things are back to the way they were. Uh, is that what Sayori meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know. But I know I'll give it everything I've got. Sayori's the most important person to me. And, I, and I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. Okay, that... Neither... Well, I mean... Load. Uh, let's see, what time is it? 53? Okay, I think well, I'll end it off here. Full day, we saw both choices. And I, and I, I don't, bro, saying you're my dearest friend felt like a really, really bad choice. Like, she fell to her knees, let out the loudest scream she could. She probably does, like, love me or something like that. And I just, like, go, oh, it's, like, turning her down. But, like, let out the, 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 the biggest scream, a wide smile, and then ran off. That does not feel good. That does not feel right. But we'll have to continue when we continue. I can't really do anything about it. So thanks for watching another episode of Doki Doki. Um, I'm going to end it off here. I don't think I'm going to... How do I open up the menu again? There's like no button for that really. Settings? No. But it's basically through here. I'll just... That's all. I, I can't think of anything. So just have a great day. And thanks for watching. Uh, bye bye. Doki, doki.